Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. What's up, what's up? Winning Cures Everything. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. And we have got a lot to discuss in a very short segment. We are giving you our NFL playoff predictions after week seven. Of course, the show always brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can find more information on all six of their incredible sports books over at tunicatravel.com. You can find more information about us over at winningcureseverything.com. Uh, all of our social media platforms, YouTube, hit subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, hit the page like if you're watching on Facebook, etc. Share the show out with your buddies, leave some comments, tell us what you like, what you don't like, tell us what your playoff predictions are, if there's somebody that we are overlooking, etc. Now, there's only six teams that get in for each conference, AFC, right. NFC. We're going to roll them through. First off, tell me who you've got for your two wild cards in the AFC. AFC is, I've got the Texans and the Bills. It's exactly who I've got. No, I think this is going to be almost identical. I think it, I think it is. There's and then a, I don't know that it's going to change much as the season goes on. There's a clear divide between good teams and bad teams. Right well, now. and the good teams have a pretty big lead. We need to see them have a collapse. Yeah. We need to see them go backwards. Um, all right, so... AFC, we'll stay on the AFC side. Uh, I'll go and give you my four seeds. Number four, I've got the Colts, so they would be playing the Bills. Number three, I've got the Ravens. They would be playing the Texans. And then I've got the Chiefs as the two seed, the Pats as the one seed. Um, I do think that the Ravens or the Colts could catch the Chiefs, depending on how Mahomes looks when he comes back. But this is my prediction. I think that they are going to be just fine. I think that division is not very good that they're in. I think the Chiefs are going to rack up some wins. Uh, so I don't think that they'll get the the second seed. But, uh, I mean, I think the Pats are just ridiculous. Yeah, I don't think anybody's catching them. No. And and I, I actually think the Colts will get the bye, bye week. They have the tiebreaker over the Chiefs. And I think they are going to rack up just as many wins because they've already beaten the best team in their conference. And I don't think they're going to have any problems beating up on Jacksonville I mean, you, or you, the Titans. You may and have a they're going to point. continue to roll. Now, they're going to lose some games. No, this isn't college football. These yeah. guys aren't going undefeated. No, you're right. But, well, one of them might. But, <laughs> yeah. And, but, uh, but no, they, uh, I, I like the Colts to, to finish second in the AFC. Right, who, uh, who have you got third and fourth? A third would be Chiefs. Fourth would be the Ravens. Okay. And it's basically these are the – these are the order of which these teams have beaten each other so far. That Colts makes sense. beat the Chiefs. Chiefs beat the Ravens. That's how I got it. That makes sense. All right, let's uh, let's look at the NFC. Um, my two wild card teams are the Seahawks and the Packers. So I've got the Seahawks at six. I got the Packers at five. We're you a little got different. Same? All right, what, what have you got? I have the Seahawks missing out. Completely missing the playoffs. I've got the Panthers. Hustle and bustle to totally win fair. the MVP. His team ain't gonna make the playoffs. That's crazy. I like this Panthers team. I I with Kyle Allen at the table with with a grown up at the table, not a child, not a man child. They look incredible. They just needed a professional quarterback. Yeah, no, I mean you may be. This right. team is really good. The defense is good. They're well coached, and the offense, the offense has tons of talent. They're really good. Now you get yeah you got a valid point. So you've got the who who do you have? You got the Packers, Packers and Panthers, and Panthers. Yeah. Okay. Now we're both we both we both bet the Vikings before the season started. They and are, we're, and we're both rolling. They're them. one game behind the Packers. I have got number four, the Cowboys, NFC East champs. It, that's not a great division, but I think that they're the best of the uh, of the bad teams. Number three, I've got the Vikings. I think that. The Bears and the Packers, and when they, they're all still going to beat up on each other. I like the 49ers to get the two seed. I like the Saints as the one seed. I think the 49ers. I don't they know. They look that I, really good. Right I don't now. know that I would argue that. I don't know that I've given much thought to that. I'm going to roll. No, nope, I'm going to stick with 49ers. Okay. No, they made a trade to get Emmanuel. They're going back. They're going. They're going for. They're, they're all they're, in. They're going all in. 
that right now they have a one game lead over the Saints. That they're going all in. I, I, I I'm, I'm right with them. One Saints, two. But yeah, you're right. Um, Vikings three. Yep. And then the uh, Cowboys four. And the Super Bowl loser slump kind of continues. continues. So uh, obviously the Eagles did make the playoffs last year, but other than that, I mean it's pretty nuts. It, normally it's kind of a a slow drop. Yep. Um, I don't know. I, I think this Rams team may be in a lot of trouble this year. They're going to have a ton of people that they're going to have to pay at the same time. Oh, yeah. The NFL philosophy of stars and scrubs, this is not the NBA, guys. No. Okay? You you can't have three a big three. They, they're they going to have, I think I was listening, either Kevin Clark or Robert Mates was talking about this on the NFL podcast for the Ringer. They handle a lot of salary cap stuff. They're going to have seven players over $20 million. That can't is be absurd. Right. That can't be right. No team, no team has ever made it to a Super Bowl or won a Super Bowl with two players. I mean, that's Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey. They're going to have to get rid of somebody. Gurley. Well, everybody they get rid of still eats the cap, so it doesn't matter. No, I mean, like, it, it, yeah, I guess. Doesn't help unless you trade them. And the only person well, anybody would trade for that's going to make $20 million is Aaron Donald because none of the rest of the guys are are worth the $20 million that they got. That's a good point. Good gracious. All right, that is our NFL playoff predictions after week number seven. Of course, again, winningcureseverything.com is the website. Go check it out. Make sure you subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Hit the page like if you're watching on Facebook. Share the show out with your buddies. Tell everybody about it. We do appreciate the support. If you're listening on the podcast, of course, make sure you, well, if you're watching this, you're not on the podcast because this is video exclusive. But go download the podcast. So, uh, hit subscribe. Go to Apple Podcasts and leave a nice review for us. That stuff helps out more than you know. Uh, I think that's going to wrap it up. TunicaTravel.com. Anything else? Nope. Appreciate it, Tunica. It. And uh, thank you for helping us. Oh, yes. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.